Okay, in this video I'd like to give a quick demonstration of scanning with the new total station interface for the MS-60. So, first step would be to add the instrument model. Go ahead and connect. And then go to the connections here, total stations. Or you could just press connect if that was the last one you used. And one thing to note is if you want to do scanning, you really do need to use an IP address. Uh, you need to use a TCP IP connection. So you can do that through a cable, or you can use the Wi-Fi connection for the tow station. But Bluetooth does not currently support um, the scanning. So you just scan. If you have to use Bluetooth, just scan on the device and then import the SDB file later. So anyway, uh, go ahead and connect. And then once you're connected, you will want to define a perimeter uh, to scan within. So you can just do that by using stable point, for example. So you can just hit measure. And measure a couple of points around your target. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scan this little uh, intensity target, uh, just as an example. So you uh, get an idea of what's going on here. And to do that, I'm going to define a little square uh, within which to scan. And I am just moving the head uh, manually. Uh, it's a great way to point it with a laser and just to give you a rough estimate of where to scan. So once that's done, I can just stop that measurement profile. And up here on the instrument tab is a perimeter button. You can just select the points that define that perimeter and it'll build a perimeter for you. And that's the input that I want to then use for the scanning process. And to do the scan, just switch to the Nova Scan. And the trick is you have to open the uh, properties of the scan. And there's a number of things that can be done in this profile. You can do a, pro a polygon scan, which is what we're doing here. You can also do a dome scan. There's a bunch of additional information in the Quick Start Guide, so I'd recommend taking a look at that. But the dome scan is kind of a fun way to basically use your MS-60 as a room scanner. So there's a bunch of neat things that can be done. Another thing that would be worth looking at is whether you're using the internal memory or the SD card. That's sort of uh, an important thing, uh, depending on the size of the scan. And then um, the other thing, you've got a min and max distance. So you, if you wanted to um, you know, cut something out of the scan, you could. But the angular resolution is the way you define the density. So in my case, I'm going to put something in here that works well with scanning in a little room. And uh, you might have to fiddle around with this a couple of times to get it right. But um, basically, here you go. You have a perimeter uh, selected. And you can select it from points or from selecting the perimeter directly. But this perimeter is defined with the corner points of the perimeter. And once it's in here, you can see it by using this edit or view or edit regions. And um, that's all there really is to it. So once you have this defined, the polygon, the resolution, and the perimeter, you can just hit measure. And you don't actually have to save the measurement profile. Um, it's up to you. That is just sort of an option. Uh, you, while the measurement profile is open, you can edit the settings and use those settings directly. Um, if you were to close the measurement profile, they'd be lost if you didn't save it. Um, another thing to note is that a, a NovaScan profile can be edited and saved, so you could uh, save multiple uh, NovaScan profiles uh, with different regions within them. So that's a, just a little tip that might be fun. Um, one thing you might note is that the scanning is happening but I'm not getting anything displayed in SA, and that's to be expected. The process is actually to do the scan and then transform the data or pass it to SA when complete. So there you go. You've got a scan, and um, it looks like we have a little funny little thing going on right now in this version where it disappears, uh, which is related to the RGB display. For some reason, it's getting uh, switched on and off, but that's something to be aware of is you can actually control the intensity and the quality of data and you can play around with that. So if I wanted to, for example, filter out the black, I could do that. That's, a, that's, a, that's an option.
So an RGB filter is kind of a fun tool. And the other thing that's kind of fun is the target detection button. So if I push the target detection and then select some of the scan data, it can then try and find the center of that target. So um, there's a quick run through. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.